What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel today. Today is an exciting day. It's a video that many people, my YouTube followers as well as Instagram followers and friends that I've known for years now have been looking forward to. Got the crew cab pulled out and we're going to start tearing it apart to get it ready for paint. So let's go ahead and start getting it torn apart. Also just to preface this project, I'm not an experienced painter, I'm not experienced in body work. I've done a little bit of it and I've read a lot of things about how to do it. I'm going to kind of crash my way through this. So it's going to be a learning experience for me. If you want to help out and comment in the comments to help me out, that'd be great. Um, the reason I love working on this truck is so I can learn from it. I know it's not going to be a show truck. I don't want it to be a show truck. I want it to be able to reflect what I've done to it and the work I've put into it. So if you're here to see a show truck come out of this, that's not going to be what happens. Hopefully it turns out nice, but we'll see. I'm just looking to learn along the way and kind of progress myself and my ability. So the first thing I'm going to work on is taking the bed off. So what I'll do is I'll pull the tailgate off, pull the tail lights out and remove the harnesses from their spots and then remove the filler neck for the fuel and then I'll also have to I've got these fifth wheel bed rails that are mounted in there and mounted to these mounts right here that are tied into the frame so I'll have to undo the bed rails and take those out and then it should be pretty loosened up and ready to pull off so one last look at the crew cab in all her glory and all her mismatched paint. This should be a fun process. All right, so we got the tailgate off, tail lights undone, fuel cap unhooked, fuel filler neck. So let me show you underneath kind of what we're gonna have to do. There's, if I remember correctly, there's eight bolts holding the bed down and then the ones I have for the fifth wheel rails. So let's sneak under there and take a look. So yeah, they, they look just like this. Here's the first one. I think there's only six actually on the short bed. And then we'll have to undo, like I said, these are to the fifth wheel rails. Just like that. And there should be four different spots like that. So let's undo that. And then I'm going to have a buddy come help me lift the bed off. Just got the new springs for the single cap for the front, so we'll get those thrown in on another day. Thank you. 
All right, it's super hot out here for April 1st. We grabbed a Mountain Dew. Two real quick things. Comment below if you can guess what color we're gonna go with. I may have mentioned it in previous videos or I may have told it on Instagram at one point, so uh, it may be a pretty easy guess, but comment what color you think I'm gonna paint it. Another thing, shout out to my man Greg A for ditching the full-time job and getting back to full-time YouTube. We've missed you for uh, probably a year now that you haven't been really posting consistently. So thanks for coming back. You're the one who inspired me to do this. So thanks, Greg A. All right, I've got the fifth wheel rails completely out. Let's show you what I'm working with with the bed here. So it's very straight. A little bit of surface rust here, but that'll come out nicely with a wire wheel. And like I said, I'm gonna bed line this. So we'll wire wheel all that surface rust out and then it'll look very nice with a bed liner in there. Oh, one more thing I gotta disconnect is this plug for the fifth wheel. So I'll get disconnecting that now. And then the last thing I need to do is disconnect the six bolts that hold the bed in. And then these lights right here, I'll just unplug them. And she should be ready to rock after that to pull it off. So let's get to doing that. So if you've never undone one of these before, I took out this screw right here. There's one more screw right down here. Just have to loosen that up, just basically a set screw. Open the cap. Got to kind of finagle all the wires through there. Okay, now this is the part you're going to want to take out your phone for this because you're going to want to take pictures of which wire goes where. There's different diagrams online for this, but in my experience, the diagrams all vary depending on, you know, in what decade or what time period the plug was put in. So the best way to do it, if yours was already working correctly, put it exactly how it was. If it wasn't working correctly, maybe don't worry about it and you're gonna have to find a different diagram online that fits yours. So I'll take some pictures of this and then unscrew it and we'll be ready to pull this plug out. Now that we've got that off, we can pull the, the cap out and the wires just fall right through the hole. So that's disconnected. Keep all these pieces. And let's undo the bed bolts now. All right, so let me show you these bed bolts. There's one right there. There's another one right here. And then the last one. 
was up there under the exhaust. I'll scoot up there in a second and show you. But anyways, uh, there's six on here. I, I think I remember there being eight on the long beds, but you'll have to see. One thing that I kind of laughed about as I pulled these out, I remembered I had to use, so to do the crew cab, most of the time you have to run a one inch body spacer. And I could not for the life of me get a company to ship some poly bushings up to Alaska for, you know, under a hundred bucks shipping. It was crazy. So I just went out and bought hockey pucks, threw them in there. So uh, this will be nice because we'll be able to replace those with the poly bushings. The bushings under the cab and the core support are the correct body mounts, but there is also the spacer with the hockey puck as well. So we'll be able to ditch all the hockey pucks and get the, the correct poly bushings in there. So that'll be really nice. Here's just a little view of the underside. It's pretty clean. This rust spot here is on the back side of this is that bracket for the fifth wheel rails that I welded on. So it, it kind of that heat and it made this rust a little bit. So we'll wire wheel that off and clean it up. I'm, I'm torn on whether to keep those fifth wheel rails. They're kind of a pain in the butt. It'd be nice to get rid of all the bracketry for it and just uh, uh, not deal with that again. If I ever need one again, maybe I'll install some type of BMW system under here, but that's it for right now. So the bed should be loose. I'm gonna go up and kind of lift up on it and see if it kind of wiggles around and then we'll get it pulled off. She's loose. Okay, I'm gonna get my buddy and we're gonna pull the bed off and stand it up so I can clean the underside of it. All right guys, the bed is off. So we'll come look at this here in a second. Give you a peek of the underside. So you'll see it's dirty, but it's very, very clean. Right here on the bottom of the panels is a little bit of surface rust, a little dent here. And then I think there's a little one on the other side too. So yeah, just right here. Nothing cancerous though. So this should clean up very easily and very nice. Shouldn't be much work to get this undercoated. Now let's go look at the bottom of the frame. So if you saw my video uh, installing the backup camera, I pointed out this mess right here. So we're gonna deal with this get this all cleaned up correctly really basically it's all the stock harness until right right in here so and then the previous owner just hacked this thing up so we're going to clean it all up uh, kind of got a mess everywhere i told you guys when i was in alaska and i did the swap i needed to do a one inch body lift because you you typically do for the crew cab at least for the short bed um, and I could not find a company that would ship up poly bushings for a decent price. So I just used hockey pucks, knowing that eventually I was going to take it apart and paint it at some point. So got all my hockey pucks in here. They held up pretty good, I would say. But I'm glad to be taking those out and getting the proper lift in there. 
So here it is, and we will be coating the frame and the axles, getting that all cleaned up and looking very, very nice. While the bed's off, I'm also gonna be doing an exhaust. This exhaust is just a mess. It's the stock exhaust, but it's, you know, there's sp spots where it had been spliced together and there's no proper hangers over here, so it's held up by bailing wire. So this is gonna be nice to get this all cleaned up. Another thing we're gonna do is find a different bumper. This bumper is just pretty much shot, you know. It's got cancer coming off all over the place. Still really good in the back, but it's just right there. It's ready to be retired, so we'll find a different bumper for it. But here she is. The project has started. So I'm going to start cleaning off the bottom of the bed. Uh, get it nice and clean, start sanding it, getting it scuffed up for the undercoating. I'll show you the product I'm going to be using. It's called Chassis Saver. So should be a fun experience. So let's get into it. Alrighty guys, thanks for tuning in. The bed is off. This is a day that's been waited for by a lot of people. Um, so next episode, we're going to start cleaning it off. Uh, scuff up the bottom and get the underside all undercoated. So that'll be in the next episode. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe if you're new here. We're going to paint the whole truck. we got tons of projects going on. So I look forward to seeing you guys around here. Comment below if you have any suggestions or any questions. And we'll see you guys in the next video.